There's a lot of amazing indie games scheduled to come out in 2023. I think this year is going to be a good year, from RPGs that pay homage to classic favorites and barista visual novel sequels that I'm super excited for, here's the games I'm eager to play this year. And I tried to get it down to 10, but I couldn't, so it's 11. Have fun with that. <laughs> Venba is a narrative cooking game that looks like it's going to make me feel emotions and I'm so ready. <laughs> You play as an Indian mom who immigrates to Canada with her family in the 1980s. You'll cook dishes and restore lost recipes and discover the family's story. The cooking mechanics look intriguing based on the trailers. This definitely feels like a game that's about vibes, more than technical difficulty, which is fine by me. I haven't had a chance to find or play the demo, but it looks like it's going to be very poignant and beautiful and I can't wait for it to come out. So I've played the demo for Spirit Swap twice, and I'm beyond excited for its release this year. It's a match three game that's queer and full of BIPOC characters, so it's basically perfect. Their tagline is, cast spells, be queer, and crash the biggest concert of the year. And if that doesn't sell it, I don't know what will. It was scheduled to release in quarter three 2022, so science point to it releasing sometime in 2023, but the demo is available and the music is super chill, so you can go take a peek at the game now while you wait for it to come out. So the world is ending and you're graduating high school. What do you do? Goodbye Volcano High is a cinematic narrative game about the end of an era and the beginning of a love story. It has rhythm game elements which appeal to me as I am an elder millennial who grew up on DDR and Guitar Hero. <laughs> I've been intrigued by it ever since I saw the trailer, and I'm really thrilled it's scheduled to release this year. No set date yet. 2023 is going to give me all the queer narrative joy, honestly. <laughs> Love Shore has an entirely LGBTQA plus cast and two playable characters, Sam and Farah. I am a huge cyberpunk fan, but am often frustrated by a lot of reductive and annoying tropes in the genre, so I have hope that Love Shore will be a cyberpunk noir palette cleanser. Solve murders, fight gods, whatever that means, and maybe fall in love. Welcome to Love Shore. While it was initially scheduled to release in 2022, it looks like it got pushed back to this year instead. And like Spirit Swap, it has a demo available right now, so you can go check out the vibes. The concept of this game looks wild. Thirsty Suitors is an action RPG. It has skateboarding and cooking mechanics apparently, which is amazing. The vibes are vibrant and ridiculous. The tagline is battle your exes, disappoint your parents, find yourself. And I love that a lot. While its scheduled release date is not yet, it's on a few 2023 indie games lists that the devs have retweeted, which makes me think they're planning to release it this year. This wouldn't be a list of mine if a deep, surreal, and narratively intense game didn't make it on here. <laughs> Try to escape from a coma and fight your nightmares. She Dreams Elsewhere promises a ton of emotional impact and strange gameplay vibes. Some of the non-combat moments in the trailer remind me of Undertale meets a classic Pokemon or Game Boy game aesthetic, and I'm here for it. The planned release is uh, late 2023 it looks like. So it'll be a bit of a wait until it comes out, but that's fine. I can't wait for it to emotionally damage me eventually. <laughs> I grew up on Pokemon and I still love the franchise, so Cassette Beasts caught my eye immediately. It's a turn-based RPG with cute pixel graphics and a fusion system? There's also apparently some relationship mechanics, which has me extra like, oh hi, hello. And you fight monsters by... Recording monsters on cassette tape and then playing them back to take their forms in battle? I'm in. Okay, we'll have to see how that goes. It has a wiki and has had demos out during things like Steam Next Fest, so go wishlist it and keep an eye out. Their demo might pop up occasionally. It's scheduled to release sometime in 2023. I'm really excited for Sea of Stars because it looks like a delightfully retro-inspired turn-based RPG, and I do love old-school RPGs. I'm hoping it'll have some of the accessibilities you can find in modern games with all the vibes of the classics. It, it promises no grinding, which is part of why I'm intrigued. I'm too low energy to grind for hours and hours anymore. <laughs> I do that enough at work as it is. <laughs> uh, there's also apparently going to be cooking, fishing, and sailing mechanics, so sign me the heck up. Let me fish all day. Also, Yasunori Mitsuda, the composer for the Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, kind of those games. Um, 
is the composer for this, which definitely submits the JRPG retro vibes. The game is on track to release in 2023, there's no specific date yet, but the developers seem pretty adamant it's coming out this year, so I'm looking forward to it. I loved Oxenfree. It's a horror suspense thrillery type of game, no matter how cute the art vibes are, but the aesthetic is unique and the dialogue is so well written that I adore it. Plus, I love time mechanics and 80s supernatural suspense stuff. <laughs> so, when Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals was announced, I knew I had to play it. Set five years after Oxenfree, Lost Signals has a new cast of characters in a new location near the original setting. And there's some weird noise in a strange portal and maybe some cultists happening? I'm concerned. It's gonna be fine. And terrifying. It doesn't have a set release date outside of 2023, but since it's a creepy and unsettling game, Fall 2023 is my conjecture, but we'll see. Now this is the game that turned this from a top 10 video to a top 11. I couldn't not mention how excited I am for Planet of Lana. It's no secret I love space. This sci-fi space puzzle-y platformer looks gorgeous and so pretty. And we have a cute pet friend and mechanics relating to that, which I always love. One of the taglines is, discover an epic story that stretches across galaxies and centuries, which immediately has my attention because that is my entire jam. <laughs> the release date is set for quarter two, 2023, so this one might actually be releasing soon-ish. So if you like space and puzzle games, keep an eye out. Okay, so this is the game I'm most excited for because I just finished Coffee Talk and it was such a lovely experience that I was very glad the sequel was immediately on the horizon. Coffee Talk is a relaxing pixel graphics visual novel game where you brew coffee and talk to customers, getting to know their stories. It's such a calming and refreshing experience. Though Coffee Talk 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly, promises to introduce us to new characters and I need to know who Q Blue Haired character is like now. Like, who are you? Hi, hello. <laughs> this game has a set release date, actually. It's actually the only one on this list that does. Uh, April 20th, 2023, which is only a couple months away, and I can't wait. Uh, and if you're like me and super eager for the full game to come out, you're in luck. There's a demo out on Steam right now, so go, go, go. <laughs> go brew that shit and have fun conversations. But wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, that was cheesy. I couldn't end this without also showcasing a few other games set to potentially come out this year. These are all the games I've seen peripherally or briefly and really liked the looks of, but also didn't want to turn this video into a 30 minute long thing. Or I wanted to include them, but I couldn't figure out when they were set to release and they weren't set to release in 2023, so I just kind of flailed and didn't put them on the list. So basically being in the honorable mention section doesn't make these games lesser or anything. Go check all of these games out. Uh, go support indie games always. And as always, links to everything are meticulously organized in the description below because I like being sure you can actually get to the games I talk about. <laughs> um, oh, and speaking of helping indie games, if you go wishlist these games on Steam, you will help them out a ton. Wishlisting indie games on Steam uh, before they come out massively helps their discoverability, which is annoying, I know, but in order to help indie games fight the dreaded Steam algorithm, it, this is a great way to do that. Just go wishlist them, and if you can't afford to pick up all these games, but you still want to support the devs, that's an awesome and free way to do it. There's literally nothing to lose, so go wishlist them and go enjoy these games. I don't know what else to say there. <laughs> So as you can see, indie games continue to thrive and be wonderful, and there's so many great games coming out this year, and I'm excited to see what else comes out. I'm sure there will be some surprise favorites that weren't on my radar. There always are. Here's to an awesome year of indie gaming. 